Hello, it's Mr. Omari here, and I want to play one of my favourite games, which sounds really kind of grammar nerdy, but I actually think can be fun with a class. So, you would get people to name what they know about what's going on in this sentence. So, for instance, um, the is in fact the definite article, definite article, and it tells us that we're talking about a specific um, teacher. Okay, the teacher, in fact the bald teacher, is in fact the subject of this sentence. So that's number two. It's a subject of the sentence. Uh, in fact, sat in his room is the predicate of this sentence. It is what happens to um, the teacher. So that's predicate. In particular, sat is the verb. So we'll go in there and put it, it is a verb. In actual fact, it is a verb in, in, in the past tense. So that's another thing. Now, where did he sat? He sat in. Now, in is a preposition that tells us about place. Preposition. He sat in his room. So room is a noun. So noun. Uh, it is a dining room, so that is an adjective. So, and I guess the point is that you can actually do this with the class and it's a way of the, the people with more knowledge of this helping people with perhaps a little bit less. I've put written proposition there instead of preposition. So let's fix that up since a preposition and a proposition are in fact quite different things. So, um, the ball teacher Subject of sentence, verb, preposition, let's just fix that up, there we go. Uh, predicate, adjective is dining room. Uh, so in fact, dining room, actually in his dining room. So that is in fact a noun phrase. Where are we? Noun phrase. Uh, his is in fact a personal pronoun, hang on, his, my, so it's an ownership, so it's not, it's an adjective, it is showing, I think it's a personal pronoun, but again that's something I probably need to check, so this is good, personal, personal pronoun, I might be wrong, I'll, I'll check that one, it's a personal pronoun, so, and full stop ends the sentence, so let's put that in, ends the sentence, sentence, so there you go, even in a nice quick sentence like this, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 things that you can say about this so that you can show your knowledge of particular parts of speech, parts of the way that we use English words. And it enables us to build, oh, also, I just realised on this is a simple sentence. The whole thing. Simple sentence. Um, it is uh, declarative, is another thing. Uh, so there you go, I think I'm up to about 13 now. And I could probably add some more in. Uh, the bad teacher is another noun phrase as well as being the subject. So, hopefully you can see how you can do all kinds of things by just picking apart a sentence. And of course, if you did it with the bald teacher sat in his dining room and made a tutorial on his computer, then you'd be able to add, um, you know, a lot more detail. You can put your punctuation marks in, explain how it works. I promise it's more fun than it looks.